Hi, my name's Richard Duffy. I am the SAP Business One Product Evangelist here at Leverage Technologies. And I'd like to welcome you to today's session, which is the first in our series of what we're calling Leverage Technologies Tech Tips. Uh, as those of you who are Leverage Technologies customers know, we have a help desk where you can dial in uh, and ask our team questions about SAP Business One. So what we've done is we figured let's take the most commonly asked questions and put the answers together for you in a series of videos that will hopefully make your life a heck of a lot easier and make it easy for you to get the answers to questions you want when you want them. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So with that, let's get going. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the very first of these tech tips, which is how to allocate a license to a new user. So important point to note, I am using SAP Business One 9.2 and I'm using the web client. The, that's why you'll see uh, everything I'm doing here is in the web browser. So remember the web client, brand new functionality in SAP Business One 9.2. So first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you've got the rights to be able to go in and allocate the license screen. So a good way to do that is to make sure that you've got super user rights. So I'm gonna log in as the super user so in this particular case, I'm gonna log in as manager and manager. Um, now, there's a good chance that your password uh, for the manager account is not manager, that's the default, and normally um, that will be changed for you. So I'm gonna go here and I'll say log on. And so the very first screen you're gonna see And so the very first screen you're gonna see is your traditional SAP Business One user interface. So in this particular instance, we're using the uh, Fiori style cockpit and we're running on SAP Business One for HANA. So we've got all of that, uh, that great HANA functionality available here in the system. But in order for me to go and reallocate a license, I need to go into administration. Then I need to go down here to the license option and then once I'm in the license option, I need to go to license administration. Now, very important point to note, with SAP Business One, the users have to be a username because the licensing model is named users. So you can't set your users up as warehouse one, warehouse two. It has to be a specific person. So a couple of things you can see on this screen. First of all, this is the location of your license server. You should normally never have to touch that unless we tell you to. In here, you can click on components and you can see each of the modules in SAP Business One that you are licensed for. You can see the country localization and the version number that you're licensed for. When you select one of these different user types down the side, you can see uh, how many available licenses you have here, which is three, and what the total number of licenses um, you have, which is three. You can see the start date, which is when we applied for that license or you applied for that license and when that license expires. So if you are on uh, a perpetual license and on-premise deployment of SAP Business One, this should normally be a date like um, you know 31st to 12th 99 because the license never runs out. Of course, SAP Business One Cloud, that will uh, need to be renewed every year. So you can see all the different license types. So let's say, for example, um, I've got my professional user and I wanna see where these are assigned. So what you can do is you can go in here into assignment and you can scroll down and you can see each of the users that you have set up in the system and you can see which user license is assigned to them because it's got this little tick box next to it. Now, um, that's a quick and easy way of, of checking on those. And of course, you can see the total number that's assigned here. So right now, I have three assigned licenses and I have two free licenses. So that's two licenses I can allocate to other people. So what do I need to do to allocate those licenses? So let's say, um, I have a new user who's been created in the system and that's Sophie. So I want to give Sophie a professional user license. So all I do is I go here and I select Sophie's name on the left. I go across here to professional user and I click on that professional user license type. All right, you'll see that's a toggle switch. 
clicking it switches it on and off and of course um, the number of available licenses gets reduced by one when you do that now if you're using the business one add-ons you also want to make sure you allocate an add-on license and you see there's lots and lots of those automatically available as part of your business one license um, if you're using the workflow functionality you also want to allocate a workflow license and now if um, Sophie is going to be using the uh, mobile app or she's using any of the B1i functionality, you'll also want to allocate a license to her for that. And same thing for the SDK tools, you'll allocate a license for that as well. So if I've given Sophie a professional user license, that's the basically the maximum functionality um, that she can possibly have. So that's basically it. I then go ahead and I'll hit update. And now Sophie can go in and she can log on and she'll have full access to the SAP Business One system. Certainly from a licensing perspective, this is different to how you configure the security in the system. So important to note that. So let's say, for example, Sophie has now left the company and I want to reallocate her license. Same scenario, I go into exactly the same screen and remember that's administration, license, license administration and I go in and I call up Sophie again and I simply untick that license so untick and untick same scenario but in reverse and that's it those licenses are now freed up as soon as I hit update those licenses are now freed up for another user in the system all right but again remember Licensing in SAP Business One is based on individual physical people. Okay, so Sophie, Richard, Jeff, Brett, whatever the case may be. Not Warehouse One, Warehouse Two, Warehouse Three. So you must make sure you have those licenses set up. But that's how you allocate those licenses. Now, of course, if you run out of licenses, what do you do? You simply contact one of our team at Leverage Technologies, place an order for the additional licenses. We'll generate a new license key for you and you're good to go and you can start using those licenses almost immediately. So hopefully that was uh, helpful. The uh, follow-up videos that I'm going to be doing, I'll go into a little bit less of the preamble. All right, uh, we'll just go straight into demonstrating the functionality and showing you how you can access uh, that particular area in SAP Business One. Of course, your feedback is more than welcome. If you do have feedback, please, on this YouTube video, if you like the video, click like. Uh, if you'd like to uh, see some other videos on other topics, reach out to me. My name is Richard Duffy, and you can reach me at richard.duffy at SA Sorry, nearly made a mistake there from my SAP days. Richard.duffy at leveragetech.com.au. And either myself or any of the uh, SAP Business One team at Leverage Technologies will be more than happy to help you. Thanks very much and have a great day.